to keep uh, taking pictures and tell you this story. It's not a very long story. Oh, that is so amazing. So truly beautiful and amazing. So, Clifford Steele was an artist who did contemporary Impressionist paintings. And there is a $25 million Clifford Steele museum behind the Denver Art Museum where I can't wait to go see it. And Rick said that he did the, uh, the opening event of the visual and audio uh, presentation for that as well. And he said that when Clifford died, the artist, he left his wife a letter and said, I want you to search the nation and find a city that will donate the land and raise the money for a $25 million art gallery showing only my paintings. Which, so his wife got the letter and started to do it and this uh, prominent man in Denver who donated the land said, oh, we want to do it right here in Denver. And she said, well, according to the letter, I have to look across the nation and see who would do it. She says, okay. So uh, the land for the building is behind the Denver Art Museum. And she did, she checked all across the country, Chicago and New York and everywhere. And in a year, she came back to, to uh, the man, whoever he is, and said, uh, I'm gonna go to the museum. I'll have a little video about that sometime. And said, uh, well, sir, I have 105 offers of cities that will donate the land and raise the money. But since you're so enthusiastic, I want you to do it. He says, good, I have the land to donate and I've already raised the 25 million. So they started immediately and there's the museum and, and all that story. I said, Rick, I wish I had videoed your, your conversation. I had no idea. And he said, well, it's all documented in the Clifford Steele Museum. I said, well, sir, is the story you relayed based on your association with these people or from the documentation that's there? And he said, oh, no, I, I was part of this whole thing. I, I knew the people and what I just told you is because of my experience. So what a fascinating story. And, and I must say that anywhere you go, for the least of our fellow humans, and it's well stated in many ways, don't ever make a judgment or an assumption because boy, was I ever was I ever, I couldn't be more wrong than what I said when I first saw Rick and asked him if he had a tape, if he was a carpenter because he had a tape measure. Oh, the colors here are gorgeous.